What up, it's you for today's video. We're with full Lotat Evolution Team Foxfire. This one is for you. Thank you for all the love over on Twitch. Now, we got Lotat, Lombre, and Ludicolo. What I wanted to do with this team is I wanted to run six Pokemon, right? So I did the normal non shinies and I did the shiny variants to make up the numbers for six. If you do want to come and watch some of my battles live or come and battle me live, see some of the salty sweeps live and just some general entertainment, come and drop me a follow on Twitch there, people. The link is in the description of the video and I hope to see you there at all the streams thank you everyone that's been coming into the stream too it's been so much fun talking to you and chilling now the first battle today this one's against at 3dd and we have a very interesting battle here we got a spiritum lead and i must admit spiritum shiny is absolutely amazing one of my favorite shinies for sure now speaking of cool shinies we got lombra's lead it's got like i guess it's like a navy blue and light gre lime green it looks really really cool it's like it's toes are like orangey sort of color anyway we've got an energy ball blizzard hydro mist and mud mist set now i've got a uh, choice specs on this one and i'm gonna be going for that hydro pop there on the spirit team it lands and it does some pretty fire damage i was happy with that now spirit Tomb, right is going to be going for a trick and I was like, I wonder what item it's going to give me. And guess what? I got a choice box. We both had choice box. How was that, people? That was a beautiful and lucky, lucky start for me there. So we got Spirit Team having to saltedly swap out there. And we got the Ditto sliding in here. Now, I went for another Hydra miss here, hoping that Spirit Team would stay in, but they didn't stay in. Which is okay. I'm still going to get some damage on the Ditto that's now a Lombre run. So it's does that have a Mastas on it? I'm not sure. I'm having a look at Lombre. Is it a Mastas or is it a Beak? Or it's his mouth. I don't really know what it is. It's, it's, I think it's just his mouth. Anyway, I'm going to hit by your energy ball there. Does some pretty fire damage to me. I'm going to go for another Hydro Pump. I just wanted to see what damage it would actually do after two hits. And I felt like I can at least give like, my, like one more energy ball after this. And then maybe I could use it for later on. Right. I'm going to go into my other Lombre here. And it's going to go for a Blizzard. And Blizzard is going to land on my Everlighted Lombre. This was Max Health and Max uh, Special Defense here. And I've got a Rangish Rain Dance leech seeding toxic set right now the other lombre the first one the shiny one was max health and max special attack modest nature obviously a full out special attacking set with a little bit of bulk to it right setting up that rain there things are going to get very, quite rainy in this team because all of all the pokemon they've got rain abilities so we've got swift swim and rain dish right some really really interesting abilities right rain dish isn't used too much so i tried to use that on some of my bulky pokemon now we've got the dreadnought like coming in here with a skitter smack it's going to be super effective and it's going to drop my special attack Right. Now, on this set, I do have Giga Drone, right? No special attack EVs, and it doesn't do very much damage to Dreadnought at all, uh, despite, like, the four times weakness. So, though, I guess I was sort of lucky they had Skitter Smack there, because, you know, Giga Drone would have hit that a lot harder. Skitter Smack's a really cool move, too. You just don't see it used a lot, right? So, here comes another Skitter Smack there with the Dreadnought. It's like a little ninja coming in, and it's going to drop my special attack here once again. I just went for a Toxie here, because I knew that Giga Drain, uh, you know, wasn't going to take it out, and it was going to take me out with Skitter Smack like a long time before I took it out with Giga Drain, right? So we got that poison there. I'm going to get some rain dish recovery on my Lombre, my bulky Lombre, right? Now we got some poison damage on the Dreadnought there. Wait, is this, a, is this a Ninja Turtles theme or is it just called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I'm not really sure. So they're going to pop out a head smash there and little Lombre is going to be going down to that one. I was going for a Giga Drain that turn. But, uh, you know, nothing much I could do there. So they're going to take a little bit of recoil damage from the Head Smash and some more from the Toxic. So I guess it's in range for me to take out with my initial Lombre from the start. So I can go for a Giga Drain here and, sorry, not a Giga Drain, an Energy Ball and take that out. Like, Energy Ball's got a little bit more base power, but you don't get the, uh, you know, health sustain back. So uh, that is going to be going down. Bye bye, Dreadnought. And the rain is going to be stopping right. Quite a few of my sets I had Rain Dance on there because I wanted to keep things nice and wet right if you know what I'm saying. So we got the Toxtricity sliding in here. What I really wanted to do was go for a mud shot. Um but I couldn't because I was choice back. So I'm like, okay, I'll leave Lombre to later on and maybe I can use it against her. So we're going to go into Lotad now. Unfortunately for Lotad, it's going to get hit by a Sludge Bomb and that nearly annihilates it in one shot there. So all I've got here to do is for it to basically faint or just go for Protect and try and pee pee. So, however, they're going to swap out there. I was like, oh... That's a bit of a shame because I was going to swap back in my low town and go for a mud shot and take it out. So I was like, okay, well, I went for rain dance. That I guess that's okay there. Maybe they didn't want to get locked into a move if they were running. A I, don't know, I don't think it was choice specs though. It didn't do enough damage. So I don't really know why they swapped there. So we've got a toxic here on the Casola. So I poisoned that, which is good. I managed to outspeed that. Uh, this set is not uh, rain dish. It's Swiss swim. 
so now we got the uh, Crossolo going for Amnesia. So like, oh, all right, this is going to be a bulky set. I'm very glad that I got a Toxic up against it, right? Because, uh, you know, Crossolo's got access to stuff like Recover. It can learn Skulls, stuff like that. It can be very, very bulky. So go for a Surf here. It looks amazing on the low tag. It does like three damage to Crossolo. And now Crossolo's going to go for a Stone Miss. And low tag is going to get absolutely destroyed there. And I've lost my Lombre and my low tag so far. I've lost a, a two Pokemon, so I've still got another evolution and a little bit to go, right? So we're going to go now into my other Lotad. I haven't sent out my Ludicola yet. Now, also, I thought to put some Mirror Beam music in the background. I hope you people appreciate that. So we're going to Counter Protect uh, Giga Drain and Surf Set. So I was like, okay, let's go for Counter. Let's finish off the Corsola. Uh, but the Corsola went for another Amnesia. I'm like, oh, no. Now they're not going to know that I'm going to go for Counter. It's a disaster. So I was like, okay, they're going to have to go for a Stone Mist eventually uh, yeah, to do some damage to me. And then they popped out the Shadow Bomb. I'm like, why? It's a mix set. Now, unfortunately, my low tech, it doesn't take a lot of damage there, but I have actually broken my Focus Sash, which was what the counter set was here. Now, I can go for an attacking move here, but I feel like Kasala's now going to go for a Stone Edge. Uh, you know, that it's got that initial damage of Shadow Ball. And I did get a special defense drop there too. So Kasala is going to be going for yet another Shadow Ball there. Obviously, they don't want to miss with Stone Edge. I went for Giga Drain here, and it is super effective, but they've got a Rindo Berry as well. So like, okay, I wonder why they send their uh, four times weak Pokemon out into a Grass Mon. And I guess that is why. So unfortunately there, the Rindo Berry stops me from taking it out with the Giga Drain. However, the Toxic that my Lombre did earlier on was enough to take out Kasala. So... I was happy about that. We got around the Casola there at the end, right? Also, another really cool shiny. It's, it's basic, but it looks good. Now, we got Spirit Team here. I already know this has got, uh, you know, obviously Trick and it's a special set with the Choice Specs, right? Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's something different, right? Maybe it's a physical set with the Choice Specs. I don't know. So they're going to outspeed me, go for the uh, Trick there. It's going to give me a Choice Scarf. They're going to get a Sash. And I just went for Scaldy. I was like, I'm just going to go for it. And since I got the Choice Specs, it was enough to take out the Spirit Team there. So, man, that poor Spirit Team, it played itself the whole battle. Now, the next Pokemon to come here is the Alcremie. I know that one. It's, it's, um, it's the normal... Salted, um, wait, is it salted? No, it's not salted. It's the rainbow, rainbow, the normal rainbow swell. Um, raspberry swell, sorry, rainbow swell. Uh, just a normal raspberry, uh, shiny one. I like the salted caramel one, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go into Ludicolo now. We got Rain Mist. Muddy, oh, sorry, I mean Rain Dance, not Muddy Miss. Muddy Miss or Scummy Water. And this set is all based around dropping the accuracy of the opponent and just being a general pain in the bum, right? So we got the rain up there. Ludicolo is doing a little bit of a dance. And now El Creamy's going to go for a Mystical Fire, which is going to drop my special attack, which is not really what I wanted because I'm running like a, uh, a special attacking set. So I've got the rain dish on this. I don't have Swiss Swim. And I went for Mud Slap, right? Now I've got Mud Slap. And I've got Scummy Water, and I've got Sub, right? So you can hide behind the Sub, and then you can just spam Mud Slap and uh, Scummy Water and try and sweep the opponent, and maybe induce some really good Salt, right? Now, the problem about this matchup for me, right, is they had the Mystical Fire. Now, that kept dropping my Special Attack, and I really wasn't doing much damage, right? So I thought, okay, what I need to do is I need to get the Mud Slaps up, right? I need to get so many Mud Slaps up that the, maybe this El Creamy will eventually swap out, and I might be able to do some damage to the incoming Pokemon, possibly, right? But all I had left is a ditto, so like, okay, I don't think Toxtricity is gonna come here. I think it might be ditto, and it was ditto, and this is where the battle started to get long, exactly like something else. Now, we're gonna ditto, obviously, uh, the transforming into a Ludicolo, and we're having a little bit of a dance off here. Look at those hands, throwing them hands, we're throwing hands at the moment. So, I'm gonna go for the sub here, and I've got the range dish there that's gonna do, uh, give me some health back there. Now, Ludicolo, uh, the opposing Ludicolo, is also gonna have range dish too, so it's gonna be getting healed at the same time. Now, let me tell you right, Mud Slap and uh, Muddy Water are not gonna be doing very much damage to, <laughs> look at the animation, are not gonna be doing much damage to Ludicolo, like an opposing Ludicolo. After all those special attack drops in the El Creamy, but it's not like I really wanted to swap it out, right? Because I was in a fairly decent position yet. Now, the opposing Ditto Ludicolo is going to throw up a sub because they know I can't do much damage to them at all. And, you know, uh, after the, uh, the, mud, the muddy water may miss something like that. And if they get some mud slaps up against me, I may have my actually drop too. Now, mud slap is definitely not going to be enough to break my sub here. Uh, obviously, I reckon mud slap, I could probably take 10 of them, even. 
they did creep me there, but I still feel like but maybe another nine might break the sub tune. Like, it's not very uh, good base power, and I've obviously, uh, they've copied my stat changes as well. So then we were sort of in like this awkward stalemate of Ludicolo versus Ludicolo here, and then Rain Dish was healing all our health back, and we just, we couldn't do any damage to each other whatsoever. We're just sort of hiding behind the sub tune. Now, I did have my Lombre here. I thought, maybe I should swap them in. And maybe I should try and break this up and just get rid of this ditto, right? I was thinking of what to do here in this situation. I mean, I wasn't in a bad situation. I was hiding behind a sub -tude. And the thing about this is we both had the same amount of, like, number of Pokemon, too. So if I could get around this ditto, I could use my last Pokemon, which was my other Ludicolo, to maybe get back into this game, right? Now, we did have a Dynamax Pokemon, a piece still. Uh, to actually use, so there was still that. I felt like if they were going to Dynamax a Pokemon, it probably wouldn't be the Ditto. I'd say it's probably going to be the Al Creamy or the Toxtricity. So go for yet another Muddy Water. I'm this Muddy Water like number 69, and I was, I was desperately trying to break the subject, man. I was like, one day it's going to break here. I might get a crit there, and the rain is going to finally stop. I mean, the only good thing about that is, right, the opposing Ditto is not going to get any health back, right? So I just went for another Muddy Water here. I think this is like my third Muddy Water here, and I was like, I was hoping if I could break that sub, then bring in Lombre and take out the Ditto then. I mean, if they wanted to swap then, they'd have to go into Al Creamy. Al Creamy would take like a Hydro Pump Choice Specs, and that wouldn't be uh, good for them either. So I sort of got fed up with the sub shoot battle. I was like, oh, I've got to do some damage, baby. Let's go into my Ludicol here. This is the shiny Ludicol. It looks pretty fine. So we got a Mud Slap coming from the opposing Ludicol. I was thinking, oh man, all I need now is to get my axe to drop to like you know, negative six, right? My own set was sort of getting used against me now from the uh, the dinner run. So the Ludicolo is going to go for yet another Mud Slap here, and my accuracy is obviously dropped by two. I was thinking maybe I'm going to have to force it to be De Desperation Dynamax, right? Just to get around all this uh, accuracy drops there that my, you know, set initially did. Now, this is a physical set. It's got a max speed and max attack, and we've also got Swift Swim on this one too, right? And we got just a normal fit. You seen what the moves there were on the screen. Uh, Grassy Glide there, if I went for Dynamax and then I versed like a faster Pokemon and the rain wasn't up, I could still go for Priority Grassy Glide there uh, with the Grassy Terrain up after the Grassy Terrain has been put on the field. Man, there's a lot of grass in that center there. Okay, so finally Ditto goes down after 69 years and out comes the uh, the Al Creamy again, right? What I did is I swapped out Ludicolo because I didn't want to have to deal with those Mud Slap uh, drops there and I went into the other Ludicolo here and now we know this thing is going to go for Mystical Fire, right? We sent it 69 times. So it doesn't do a lot of damage to my other Ludicolo. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go for Mud Slap. I'm just going to spam Muddy Water and see how much I can possibly do, right? And Muddy Water really doesn't do a lot of damage there. The EVs I've got running on this thing were Max Health. And I've also got on this one, I'm actually bulked out a little bit in my defensive side. So go for another uh, Muddy Water here. Just getting as much damage as possible. Maybe an actually drop would be really, really good. And now we're down to two minutes. I'm like, man, somebody's got a gear here, right? Maybe I've got a Dynamax. And then I get critted by Mystical Fire. I'm like, no. So there goes my Ludicola. I've got two more Pokemon to deal with, and I've got two more Pokemon left. So I was like, okay, let's go into Lombre. I've got to finish off this El Creamy, right? And I've got that um, I've got that Toxtricity left too, so I might be able to use Mud Shot if it doesn't, you know, one-shot me, which it could possibly happen, right? So here we go. Here's their Dynamax Pokemon, but it's not going to be Dynamax. It's going to be G-Max El Creamy. And let me tell you, G-Max El Creamy is super, super thick, and it's G-Max move replenishes its health too. So I'm like, man, I don't know if I can get around this with Lombre, like... If I can do, maybe I can live like one turn and then send my own, like, only Dynamax out there. So anyway, we got the G-Max uh, Al Cream move, and that's going to take my Lombre out. I was like, okay, we've got 50 seconds left for this battle. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to Dynamax my Ludicolo. If I can go for a Water-type move there, put the rain on the field, and then I'll hit him, like, very, very hard, and also I'll be able to outspeed the Toxtricity and take it out, right? And that should put me in a pretty good position. So I wanted to see what damage I would do here. We had 20 seconds left of the battle. Obviously, we weren't going to finish this battle, right? But I just wanted to see if I was actually going to be able to win this matchup or not against the last two Pokemon, right? So 10 seconds left of the battle here. I felt like El Creamy could not touch me at all. Um, like the damage that it was going to do to me. Like Ludicolo is kind of thick too. So I reckon I could take this down in like another shot. So I went for the max, guys. So obviously, I'm going to outspend. And I was like, let's see what damage this actually does, right? And it does... Very, very good damage there. The next attack was definitely going to take it out um, with the rain there. And even if it didn't, yeah, you know, after if it got out of the Dynamax or G-Max, I would be definitely taking it out there. And that's pretty much game there. It's going to do very, very little damage to me. I could have taken like another two or three of them. 
And by that time, it would have been out of its G-Max there. And that's pretty much GG there. Unfortunately, the 20-minute timer destroyed me. I feel like I definitely would have won that battle on the last... Uh, I would have taken those last two Pokemon out, but that's the 20-minute time for you. It still was a very good battle. It's just kind of disappointing we didn't get to end it. All right, let's go on to a battle two. Hope the next game has not a 20-minute timer. Man, let's get that hour timer back. You know what I'm saying? So the next battle here, this one's against our Derek, and we got a Persian leave. Now, I've got low tap this time, and I was kind of hopeful. I was like, mm, maybe I might be able to get, like, a protect, uh, you know, KO here. And then uh, Persian goes for Nars as well. I'm like, ah, ah. Dang. So, uh, with this low tad right... Oh, sorry. This was the Rain Dance one, not the counter one. Don't worry, people. The the, the, the meme is still alive. So, we're going to go for the Rain Dance here, which is quite good, because that's going to allow me to be able to outspeed speedy Pokemon like Persian, right? Now, this Persian's going to go for a nasty plot. Now, it's going to go for a round. Almost takes my low tad down in one shot, and I'm able to get off the Toxic here. So, I was like, okay, round. That's a... That's an interesting set. I thought they may have something like throat spray, like nasty pot throat spray, right? So we got the poison up on the Persian, which is really good. And I thought, here, you know what? I might as well go for another protect just to get that toxic up another round, and that'll do further damage to Persian. And then they went for another nasty pot. I'm like, uh oh, this is nasty. So at the moment, this Persian has got plus four in special attack, and it's very, very fast. This thing has the potential to actually destroy, like, a lot of my team, right? So I went for the double Scumbrat Protect here. I mean, if I could get four like that Blissey, that'd be super lucky, right? I mean, super unlucky, and that was my plan, right? I was going to try and get as many Protects off as possible before Lotad went down, right? So we got a uh, Persian at half health there. I went for a third Protect, and it didn't work, man. How did that person get four Blissey Protects in a row? I'll never know. So I'm going to get taken out there by a Swift. Swift Technician actually isn't all that bad on Persian. It's probably one of the best Swift users in the game, right? So bye-bye, Lotad. You did a good job there, though. You got some good toxic damage off against a Persian. I mean, if I had uh, done sort of some sort of attacking move to it, I possibly nearly could have taken it out. But that's how it is, right? So I've got my next uh, Lotad here. I'm going to go for Protect again because you've got to use Protection. And they're going to go for a Dank Pulse there, trying to flinch your boy, right? Um, I've got that Protect up. Now, I didn't dare to go for a second Protect so I thought I was already very lucky to get two Protects in a row on my first Lotad. I don't want to burn that one off because it's a Focus Sash counter set. I might be able to use that a little bit later on, right? So I went into my Ludicolo. Here comes a Dank Pulse from the Persian. Does a lot of damage to my Ludicolo, my bulky special defense set. And the uh, Persian is going to be going down there. Man, Persian Shiny does not change any. Like, it hardly even changes. Like, it's sort of like, it might even be worse than Farfetch'd, right? So, in comes the uh, Palm... Uh, Palm Missy, you know, Parmesan Cheat. In comes the Parmesan Cheat. You know what? Speaking of Parmesan Cheese, when you got some spaghetti bolognese, right? You get that fresh spaghetti bolognese. You just sprinkle that on the top like salt. Not salt, though, but, uh, you know, bolognese on your bolognese. Man, it tastes good. Like, parmesan cheese is fire. So, anyway, uh, we got the Retaliate Normal Gem coming from the parmesan cheese monkey, and it's going to be taking my Ludicolo out. Nothing I could have even done to that or swapped in. We're going to go into Lombre now because I've got Swift Swim, and it's time to see if we can take this monkey out. So, we're going to go for the Hydro Pump here. Hydro Pump is going to land. we got the rain up there, outspeeding it with the Swift Swim, and that is going to get dumpstered in one shot there. I love how that fights. I love how... It it rolls on its its melon. I think it's a melon. Correct me if I'm wrong, man. I'm pretty sure it's a melon. I love that fainting animation. It looks so good. So what they're going to do, right, they're going to do a, a combustion swap in and bait me into using a water type move. Now, I knew this uh, Storm Drain Cradilly would be a problem in this battle because when you look at my team, right, I've got so many water type moves. The opportunity for them to send that in was there's almost a high guarantee that they were going to get me the Storm Drain at some point throughout the battle. I sort of already resigned to the fact that was going to happen in Team Preview, right? Now, we've got the Meteor Beam from Cradilly. It's a special set. It's going to be having a, a Power Herb here, boosting its special attack there, and it's going to be firing its laser off right away here, right? So Meteor Beam's going to hit me very, very hard. I wasn't sure whether I'd uh, actually live this one, but I did. I lived it pretty well with my bulky uh, Lombre there with the Everlight. So that Max Elf and uh, Everlight definitely, definitely saved me. So number one priority to get on this Cradilly Dilly was toxic. I had to get that up in case it had like a really bulky set or it just had recover right. Uh, so it's going to go for a slide trove here. That is going to be more than enough to take out my Lombre. Bye bye Lombre. You did a very good job there getting up the toxic right. If I wasn't able to lift that and not get that toxic up, 
things could have got very, very nasty. Like, I couldn't use any water type moves. I would have had to rely on maybe a weak sort of stab, like Ice Punch from my Ludicolo, something like that. So, speaking of uh, Ice type move, I went for the Choice Specs Blizzard there. Did pretty nice damage. I was very, very happy about that. Uh, Cradily, obviously not expecting that much damage uh, coming from my Blizzard. Is going to go for a slide drive there, and it's going to take Lombre out in one shot there. So that's fine. Like, I really, really put a big chunk of damage onto Cray Dealy. Cray Dealy, obviously, I'd say was running something like Max Health and Max Special Attack, by right? not investing all that bulk into Special Defense or Defense like it normally does. So I've got my low tether. I thought, you know what? Let's go for another Protect here. What are they going to do? Swap. And they went for the Giga Drain, which is fine. And since I've got that Protect up, the uh, Cray Dealy is going to fight to the Poison. So low tether come in. You know, very handy there, especially with the, uh, you know, the Persians at the start and the Cradilly there at the end with all those, that, that special attack, uh, you know, rise run. So in comes the uh, Combuskin there. Combuskin's one of the rare Pokemon in Generation 8 that's actually had a shiny change. It actually looks really, really nice compared to what it was before. So instead of it being a physical assault, my low tag got trolled again. It was flamethrower in the rain, only on Pip Nights channel. And then the rain stops and then they take me out of the flamethrower. Man, my low tag... My low tan counter set could not, they couldn't catch a break the whole time. So now we're going to go into the Ludicolo there, and we're going to Dynamax. I have to Dynamax here to get myself into the game. Like, look at my team. They've got absolutely decimated right now, and i still got three Pokemon to deal with. Now, since the coast is clear, uh, Cradilly is out of the way. I can freely go for a water type move here and get that rain going and hit pretty hard, right? However, there's the note my opponent hasn't got a Dynamax Pokemon done either. So I know what Pokemon I've got left, and I was thinking it's not going to be Combuskin who's going to be Dynamax. No way, right? I feel like they'll just leave it in and maybe use it as a sacrifice, right? To swap in the next Pokemon. So Combuskin is going to get dropped there in one shot, then the rain is going to go up. I've got two more turns of Dynamax left. Now, I did think it's possible my opponent could go for a Max guard and maybe store one more of my Dynamax Pokemon out that uh, or Dynamax turns out right. So in comes the Altara. It's like, okay, this is good. I've got Ice Punch in this set. I can go for that. And then I seen the Altara Dynamax. It's like, uh-oh, uh-oh. I, even though it's four times super effective, right? Dynamax give you so much bulk, right? And Ludicolo's uh, isn't stabbed, right, on Ludicolo's the ice side moves. So I was wondering whether this is actually going to be able to take it out. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. We got the uh, Altaria here. It's got the Cloud 69, and they're going to go for Max Guard. That's pretty much what I thought they would do to outstall like 110. So I went for the Max Hailstorm there. The only bad thing about going for Max Hailstorm on turn three of Dynamax means I'm going to lose my Swift Swim. And that was not enough to take out the Altar. It does very, very big damage, but I knew I like I knew deep down that it wouldn't be enough to take it out, just purely because of Dynamax, right? So we got that uh, Salt Falling, I mean that Hail Falling, and now we got the Altar going for a very, very powerful uh, flying type move there, and that's obviously going to give it a buff in speed. And now since I don't have Swiss Swim because of the Ice type move I had to do to it, it's going to be out out speed me and take out my Ludicolo. I pretty much did all I could there. Uh, they're going to go for a Max Guard there. They're going to be out of the Dynamax. It doesn't really matter too much because they're going to be able to outspeed me the next turn and you know, get extra hail damage and stuff against me. Ludicolo is always going to outspeed after the... Um me using the uh, you know the ice move there. I had to use it though because I thought if I could land it on the second turn, I could take it out, then I could re-set uh, it up on the last turn. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed both these battles, people. It was a fun team. I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace.